Now we have Senator Wyden. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. And Mr. Chairman, thank you for holding the hearing. Having uh, been the chair of the committee, I know it's uh, a challenging job. You got your hands full. I appreciate uh, uh, working with you. Uh, let me go to you, uh, Ms. Mitsos. I uh, know of your good work. And in our part of the country, it is already very dry, and there is tremendous concern that this dryness can really trigger another round of infernos. This is what uh, people have first and foremost, uh, particularly in rural Oregon, on, on their minds in terms of what they may have to uh, deal with. We come to this committee, and so much of the time is always devoted to a debate where one side wants to cut everything down in the forest, and the other side, particularly in the West, sometimes says, we don't want to cut anything down. And so that just is kind of a prescription for gridlock. And my view is this year, it would be absolute malpractice in this country for this committee and the Congress to not take concrete steps to do more to reduce hazardous fuels and deal with the fire mitigation threat, especially near homes and businesses. So today, we Westerners, Senator Cantwell and Senator Feinstein, we joined with our colleague, the chairman from West Virginia, to really launch a special effort that is backed by good science. It's tested policy that would accomplish that objective of really allowing us to do more to reduce hazardous fuels and mitigate fire. And what it is all about is increasing the pace and scale of prescribed burns. And this effort that we're pursuing is backed by a coalition that you don't see every single day. Earth Justice and the Environmental Defense Fund joining major timber uh, industry uh, leaders, uh, Weyerhaeuser, the National Alliance of, of Forest Owners, Oregon Tribes, Tribal Forestry Organizations with us as well. So we don't know of any major opposition now because, as I say, it's science-based, really builds on some of the collaborative ideas, and you basically do a lot more during that season before it is hot and dry and before you get to these infernos. Would legislation, in your view, for purposes of my initial uh, question, my legislation with Senator Cantwell, Senator Feinstein, Chair Manchin, would this prescribed fire bill, in your view, reduce wildfire risks and contribute as well to healthy forest management practices? Thank you, Senator. I, prescribed fire is essential on the landscape. Um, we can do thinning. Uh, and that will help as well, but it needs to be followed by prescribed fire. So I don't uh, unfortunately know the details of your bill, but I know if it focuses on increasing pace and scale of prescribed fire and also helps build the workforce to do that, it is a necessary bill. That's what the bill is all about. Pace and scale up in our game. We're going to have to really get, get serious and get serious quickly about hazardous fuels reductions, fire, fire mitigation, and following the science. And that's what our little coalition of members wants to do. Second area I want to talk to you about is, along with Congressman Joe Neguse uh, in Colorado, we have introduced the 21st Century Civilian Conservation Corps. And the idea here is to establish a larger forestry workforce for planting trees, removing hazardous um, fuels, and have more healthy forest treatments all across uh, the country. The Biden administration basically worked uh, closely with us. They have something which is sort of the other side of a coin, a climate cord, but they're essentially the same kinds of uh, efforts. In your view, does the United States currently have a sufficient workforce to accomplish the amount of planting and thinning and science-based forestry practices that you have been talking about? Because my sense is we got to have some more people and we got to do it quickly. Your thoughts? Uh, we definitely need more people, um, whether they be youth or uh, young adults or people just out of college. The number of people who work in forestry 
in particular and natural resources in general has been dwindling and uh, without the assistance of building up a new workforce, we're gonna struggle with finding new stewards of our lands. Good, thank you Mr. Chairman, I'm out of time, thank you. Thank you, Senator.